you know, a lot of us juniors like we're just looking at you know becoming a consultant, and then it's all very vague. It's all you know. So, what would your goals be for the next ten years? Yes, yeah, so I think I think it's still that kind of. I'm I'm still on that kind of journey at the moment where I'm trying to find my own core and I'm trying to find the purpose, uh, my own purpose. To be honest. It sounds a bit silly, but no, um, no, no. It's, but that, it, it, it's it so is, good to hear is, because is, uh, identity yeah. is complicated. Yeah, and people simplify it, especially for doctors. I'm a doctor. That's your identity. No, 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 no. Yeah. So can you break that down? What, yeah, so you're, sure. You're, finding, you're trying to find your kind of deeper purpose in life. And, yeah. So it's and very seeing how you can make ICU work with that. Yeah. No, it's very interesting. So the uh, I went to um, Harvard last um, for I'm going to Harvard um, for teaching at one of the educator courses for couple, last three four years. And we did some one workshop at a fellowship in museum educators. And one of my friend, who is from Pennsylvania, he he brought masks, and he he just like a plain blank masks, and he now uses those masks to um, kind of ask yourself to how your professional identity develops over the period of time, starting from medical student to the consultant level, and what how it still keeps continuing kind of thing. And when you participate in that exercise yourself, it was so fascinating to see that how my own professional identity, even as an intensivist, was there, like I'm intensivist as a professional, um, but what does it mean and how is going to kind of develop over the period of time, I was not really sure. Um, because as I said, coming and treating the patient is, is a one aspect, but to be honest, what is the purpose of the whole thing and what what I want to achieve in next year as a do I want to be educator do I want to be researcher do I want to be um, just a good clinician uh, or just as a well-rounded um, intensivist um, and that's that's I'm still kind of and, and as I said I probably was jack of all um, and a master of none so I've been kind of in that uh, traps before so now it's really kind of taking the deep dive and mm -hmm. trying to find what is the most um, uh, meaningful thing for me and that's the kind of what's where I'm at the moment I'm doing my PhD in, oh, wow. in, a, in, a, in a more in a working memory and emotional uh, side of things trying to find out how the emotions interact with your working memory resources Wow in, in a clinical context yeah or? so so initially to explore that in a non clinical context but it's more mainly around the, yeah it is it is more of an education psychology right um, and trying to underpin some of the cognitive load theory and then principles of cognitive load theory um, but again it's just the very beginning of the journey and I'm hoping it might take somewhere along the journey so you see my defense mechanism to the complexity of life is to do as much breadth as possible uh, it sounds like your um kind of plan now is to kind of find the depth yeah uh, and 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 kind of fill your like and, and and that will be your like part of your identity is is this this particular expertise that you develop um whereas i'm i feel like if you just stay wide enough at least one of those things will I, the mix will just kind of I don't know. For me, actually, it's love. You know, I just love my partner. I love my friends. I love my family, and you know, I just uh, I find that that helps me a lot. Yeah, but I guess uh, when yeah. I, when you are at your career mm. level, I think it's it's always good to have the breadth of experiences. Yeah. And I think um, as you grow more and more into your own specialty, and maybe you can become more niche uh, uh, into your specialty, then it's always good to then do a deep dive. Mm, um, yeah. And I think and I that's think, how you become mo more useful to the world. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, and again, sometimes, um, and it's also accepting that you won't be able to do everything. And I, even that realization is is quite useful. Yeah, that's right. You have to not choose what only what you do, but choose.